Hey guys, well, I got some more friends and, and, and it's because of Jimmy B. Uh, here's my boy, Steve. Steve, what's, what's the name of this company, this little old company? We're Earnhardt Technology Group. When you mean Earnhardt, I mean, you mean Dale. Yes, Dale, um, you know, Dale was, uh, we, we started out as Dale Earnhardt Incorporated and did the uh, cup racing and uh, did the racing for years. And, and uh, obviously, you know, he, tragically got taken from us so yes, then sir. I left it to Teresa Earnhardt and uh, now we've we've uh, Teresa's allowed us to create Earnhardt Technology Group to build parts. And it's been what eight years you're saying now that you guys have been building yeah, parts yeah, and yeah about eight years. Let's yeah. take a look at some parts here. Yeah. Tell me tell me what this is. Uh, this here is um, you'd be looking at these are bird cages. Okay. Um, more pretty much this is this setup right here was designed for a dirt late model car. Uh, with the lift bar um, for dirt late models, dirt modifieds. Um, this is yeah. pretty much what you'll see on the rear suspension of those cars. Um, you know, now, highly advanced, pretty pretty much everything uh, everything adjustable. Um, it, you know, there's just a lot of technology that goes into the rear suspensions of, of those cars. Yeah, people think they just sliding around. They're engineers yeah. to drive around, aren't they? Yeah, no, the, uh, the the less sliding that we can do, the better for those guys. The better. For sure. Now, and, and you know where I'm headed. So can I put this on my Pro Touring truck? Oh, absolutely. That's, yeah, that's. Absolutely. <laughs> this is, uh, this, this, uh, this stuff right here uh, probably will will send some shockwaves across that, that series right there because this, this technology right here, We'll cross over to that stuff very well. That's awesome. I mean, if people don't understand. I mean, I can take NASCAR technology and thought process and put it on my daily driver if Absolutely. I wanted to. Yeah, yeah. It's it's all been worked out, all scienced out, engineered out, ready to go. This is set up for a Ford nine inch rear, or or well, just the winners. This is set up for the quick change. Um, this this is actually just a, a housing to represent yes. the quick change. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, but this is uh, we have some pieces that are for the nine inch. The nine inch stuff, but uh, pretty much all the dirt in the dirt like my world, it's all quick change stuff. All right, let's take a look. What, what, what could I use on a Ford nine inch? Is that one there? Uh, actually, this is the same. Okay. Uh, well, just this just represents um, this is all steel rather than having like the other ones that you saw that were billet aluminum. This is all uh, steel, uh, a steel version of that. Okay. Um, and then we have. Uh, these pretty much will go on anything. This is a this is called a pull bar, which this will be your uh, traction device for. If for, uh, for, like, like like the th uh, upper bar and a three upper, link. Third link. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, which is highly tunable by spring rate, uh, and then you have a uh, you can tune with your deceleration brake uh, bushing. Uh, like I said, just highly tunable for any type of. Uh, traction now i find these very uh, this is on jimmy's truck variation of it but this is if you took your sway bar off mm -hmm. this is because this i'm blown away by this yeah. thought process well and, and basically what this is is this is this is actually a travel limiter okay so this thing will actually as this spring compresses this will move which yeah. will allow chassis movement and roll so, and there's there's different variations. You can go with any kind of rubber uh, bump stop or a bump spring or just for, uh, to actually to torque dampen and, and uh, control roll. Okay. Let's do a couple, I know we have to go to another shop. These guys are looking at me all funny, but I could spend all day here yeah. and, 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 and we're gonna get up, but this is, this is if you have a, um, a four link or a trailing arm set up, yeah. this is easily bolted on. Yeah, this is a this is a bolt-on trailing arm links, um, which um, you you bolt oh, yeah. your arm length in here, uh, and just quickly you can see it's a quick adjust with a pin yeah. washer. Yeah. Uh, for easy adjustment. So um, and then obviously you have for your shock mount to to your shock with bolt on the rear side uh, of this piece, and and this is basically the same piece. We just have a clevis style shock mount or a, a studded, studded uh, style. Somewhere. And um, yeah, they and, clamp on. And these we saw in the back, these are some lower control arm components. Yeah, this is a lower control arm piece that will allow you to weld a ball joint ring, weld your tubes on here for your to make your lower A-frame, shock mount position and bump stop stick position, which they're parallel, same height. So everything is uh, uh, uniform. Per yeah, uniform going up. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, for sure.
We'll take a little look over here, and I know these guys, there's also tools. You guys also have some yeah, tools. We, uh, we got a lot of tools, and, and if you want to go on to EarnhardTechnologyGroup.com, uh, we have a full catalog on there that has uh, all the parts that we manufacture, tools, yeah. pretty much everything that we do is on there. You can look at everything. And, and here's the cool part. When he means manufacturer, I mean, we just left the CNC machines, and we're like in the sh like a showroom area, so they manufacture these parts here in the USA. So I, I find that fascinating myself. Yeah, and along with some of the tools, this is actually a rear end alignment tool where we can bolt these plates on uh, nine inch housing or a quick change housing. We have different uh, uh, spacers made for, for whichever rear end type you have. Right. And this will allow you to, you can actually use this to measure toe and... Uh, yeah, I, I got some guys with straight axle going, what are you talking about? Yeah. And, and tell them yeah, you we, have you have a way to put camber and caster into yeah, a straight axle. Yeah, we can actually um, change the uh, camber and skew in the rear end by the, the uh, position of this axle tube, um, and, and that's a tuning tool for yeah. basically for those cars as yeah. well as what the cup cars used to do. It's cup technology is what it is. But uh, but we can it, basically we can apply this on the street. Oh, absolutely, for sure. Awesome. Uh, and then a little tool, we have a drive line alignment tool. This bolts on your rear end, this bolt on your transmission, laser beams to make sure that uh, drive line angles are correct, which is a big thing when you're looking at some of the lower horsepower vehicles yeah. to maximize horsepower. And efficiency, efficiency in, in the rotation. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. We got you. You guys were even taking four nine inch rears and gutting them out to make them lighter. Yeah, we, we want to light them up. We put these in the machine and uh, take take some excess weight off of them. Um, that that there actually come from some of the cup guys. Uh, at, at, at some point or another, they figured out that uh, they want to get a little bit lighter. So we uh, we we, we uh, you obliged. We geared up and <laughs> made it happen. Yeah. So and then this is this is taking the four nine inch rear the same the same torque arm setup, mm -hmm. but then now we have like a cage system that can go onto that vehicle. Yeah, this would, this is basically an upper link your upper link mount um, that can bolt onto to your um, your third link. This this rear in here is actually a aluminum housing, but we've made it adapt to where it will work on a steel housing or an aluminum housing, um, and basically all it is is a, a bracket to to have your upper link mounted to where you can move it uh, at different locations for different applications. Awesome, awesome. And of course, I see trick billet parts on a, on a transmission. Yeah, those are that just, in house. Yeah. Um, this this whole tra this is actually a Jericho box that we take and completely redesigned all the internals, uh, internals and the shifting mechanism and some other things to really dress this transmission up. This is real popular with the late model asphalt world. Awesome. Two, two speed, three speed stuff. Listen, dude, I, I'm blown away and I can't thank Steve enough for giving us this tour. We should probably be here like the next three months, but they're they're yelling at me because we got to go to another shop tour. So guys, Steve, I appreciate it. And we got some more stuff coming down the future for plans of pro touring trucks and racing and it's going to happen. We'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Bye.